it adds demo demo who created them i'm sorry snipe there's snipes in ad hell at the moment so i guess that's a thing unfortunate timing but um yeah yeah bot confirmed shh, shh. nobody needs to know <laughs> Oh man, look, I went through some funny fucking stages with like early streaming where like we had, we had people coming in and being like, oh, because you're using a female avatar, you must be a guy or you're a guy with a voice changer in a basement or like you're like an AI here to scam us all or something like that. I'm like, what the fuck are you on about? <laughs> and um, after a while I learned that some of the comments about like the guy with the avatar and stuff like that, that's a bit of Asmongold's crew. Um, people that like watching his stuff because he often says things like that and like okay all right I figured out where that shit's coming from but like the the bot and the scamming stuff I actually came across several streamers that are like mostly AI because either the streamer themselves are mute or they do not wish to speak on stream and I'm like okay I kind of can get where this is coming from because I, I don't have a high pitch like squeaky anime voice and stuff like that I might be like coming across as a weird creature that's like, I don't know, human, but also like not the status quo of what you expect for an anime avatar. I'm also not playing a role, so there is also that confusion too. It's like, what the fuck? It's like, I clicked on you and you're not like dancing around and spinning magical girl spells. Like, what the fuck is this shit? You know? <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I just figure, like, I'm just going to be me. People are either going to like it or they're not, you know? Um, and I assume, like, the people that don't like it don't hang around. The yellow my vacation has started for a week. Nice. Welcome in, Headless Comet. Um, oh, your vacation. How long's your vacation? Is it for the whole week? Because she said it started for the week. It started for a week. Is it a full week? So I have returned from the damnation of hell. Welcome back, Snipe. Guess what? How's your submarine going? Did you, did you add more potato stuff to uh, your character? Um, also, yeah, I was I was appreciating the words that you said tonight before. While well, you're in the ad's hell, unfortunately. I know you couldn't hear it because ad's hell. That's fine. So talking inwards, don't know. I can whistle. Uh, whistle inwards. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Because like, I can whistle inwards and I can whistle outwards. But I can also talk... Breathing in, breathing out as well. Most people can only talk breathing out. Um, but talking breathing in isn't that hard. Um, I imagine it's kind of akin to, you know how there's people that can like burp the alphabet and shit like that? I imagine it's kind of along the same lines of that. It's just one of those extra little things that we found as novel when we were kids and decided to like really go ham on it. And now we can just do it really well as an adult. Except mine's being able to talk without like pausing for air at times although I'm pretty sure you guys do hear occasionally when I do get oxygen this is just not as often as everybody else Lorena are you doing plants yeah you are can I send you down here for some plants please I need somebody to harvest some plants to be fair half of the female model YouTube is a male I have come across that but like I don't know I don't see any like problem with it but I do understand, like, if you're clicking into a stream and you're expecting the, you know, avatar to be female and also the person behind it to be female, I can understand that being a little bit of, like, a surprise kind of thing that you're not ready for. Um, but I don't know, these days when I click in, I listen for a couple of minutes and I'm like, usually I look at tags normally. That tells me all I need to know. But um, I know some people do it as a bit of a troll. Like I've known a few people that literally have um, the female character to try to lure people in. And I think that's a little scummy. I think if you're going to have a female character, um, it should be some kind of like, like you should be comfortable with that. Or it should be some form of representation or something for yourself. As opposed to being like a bait and switch or a trap kind of thing because that's not really cool you know but yeah I do get it the other thing too is like I also as I said like I'm not like super hyperactive high energy um squeaky voice or anything like that like I thought about at one point I considered adding a redeem that was like would potentially request that I do something 
like cute and like that and I'm like there'll be times when I'm having a super serious conversation some bastard's gonna redeem that and I'm gonna have to switch up from like serious shit to <laughs> literally like some kind of polarized squeakiness and I'm like I don't think I can do that like that's just it's interrupting shit so yeah I haven't added anything like that but yeah I don't know it would be funny. I've seen people do it, and as long as it's not interrupting them when the person redeems it, it is funny. You know. That's been done. I got sidetracked on the NVD night vision. Oh, yeah. I made a Spartan potato. Nice. Whenever somebody says Spartan, the first thing I think of is 300. But the funny thing is, I did used to watch a lot of... Not watch. I used to read a lot of, like, ancient um, civilization stuff. What are you doing, Jet? And a fire starting spray. Yeah, I used to read up on a lot of ancient civilizations and stuff. So, like, my brain just doesn't automatically go to those illustrations anymore. It just goes straight to, like, movie representations of it. I almost have enough chickens and ducks that I can kick them out of here soon. Because this is also one of our food stores as well for, like, growing shit. That cheated on character creation. <laughs> Better that. Um, I'd rather look at cute anime cat girl than burly man. The start of unmatching, was it? Start of the unmatching voice was unsettling, but now it's just the norm. Actually, I find that too. Sometimes it's a little bit like when the voice doesn't quite match the character, sometimes it's like, oh, that's um, like that's a shame that like they don't kind of go together. But then after a while, it's so appropriate for that character, and I love it because it's so like, I don't know, far out of what you'd expect from it. I get that with a few people's, like, characters and stuff, and, like, I couldn't imagine them changing it to, like, anything else. And also that comment about, like, the, the cute cat girl and stuff like that, I've actually heard something like that before, is, um... Because I remember asking my partner when we were playing some game, and I was like, why do you always choose female characters? Because, like, me, when I was growing up, we didn't really have many options for female characters in games, right? So whenever there was a female character, I would jump on that so fast because I'm like, cool, I get to be a female in this game instead of being one of the multiple dudes, right? I'm talking about, like, good, like, 30 years ago kind of stuff, like 20, 30 years ago. And um, so I was always excited to grab any female character or like something close to me and stuff like that but like I asked my partner about it once and he's like um like he would rather like if a character if you could see the character running around he would much rather have a female character which would be nicer to look at as it runs around in the game than to have just like a dude unless the dude has like really cool armor and gear and stuff like that then he'll go with like the dude but generally speaking if it's one where the outfit's not really um, to match the gear. If it's just like purely visual, you'll normally prefer to go with the visual of like the female because you'd rather watch a female bum run around on screen for like hours on end. And I get that. Like, I don't know. Once human has very much got ass cheeks on screen at all times until you get pants. So that was one of those things where the first time I saw Once Human, other people playing Once Human, it's like, oh my god, there's ass cheeks everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, people must be doing this on purpose. And um, no, that's literally the first outfit you get in the game. And I'm like, so when I started playing, I'm like, I need pants. Like within the first couple of minutes of the first day that I played, I had pants, I crafted pants. And I'm like, I want pants on my chick because I'm like, the last thing I want is to accidentally attract somebody that like, is a little bit too lewd for my channel and my community and stuff and I don't want to I want to bait people like that at the moment with my once human character I literally don't give a shit she'll get whatever gear I've got and that'll be fine like I'm a little bit more progressive with it because anybody there's lots of people out there playing once human you can watch literally anything that you're interested in if like they've got a character dressed a certain way or um playing a certain way or something like that you can go and enjoy that yourself kind of thing so I don't have to worry about that anymore you know um what's that um my inspiration because I was recently finished God of War remember the Sparta oh yeah oh man I like that you're getting creative with your potato I think it's really cool especially since like it is just a potato 
but like you have so many different like variations, outfits and like vehicles and all sorts of shit for it. I love it. This caravan's almost home. They've actually still got some food, but it's not going out. They've still got just enough food to get out to it and back, and I'll probably need to send a different mining group to this. Hostility act oh, still act Oh, there's hostility at each. I don't think I sent anybody with guns in this. I wasn't expecting hostility. Mmm, pumpkin. Pumpkin and whale has a gun. I know that. Chet should. Unless they got downed recently, in which case they won't have it. Um, what is that? What did I miss? So like even 10 years ago, that was still kind of the case. Yeah, pretty much. Like the lack of variety and like having a female character and stuff that you could play. Or like alternate characters and stuff like that. I'd say probably 20 years ago was probably when we started getting a lot of variety, realistically. About 20 odd years ago, I'd say. Um, so we're very close to having VTuber Aprilic. What? What's this about VTuber Aprilic? What am I doing? What did I do? I'm so confused. I feel like I've missed something there. Fill me in with that one because I, I missed something. Um, so I'm going to mention once human. Lol. For me it was Fallout New Vegas. They knew what they were doing. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen some stuff. I've also seen people get like realistic mods for Seven Days to Die and be like walk into a room and you know how you get like you're laying down zombies and stuff like that? Or like your corpses that you can carve up and they're like they're a little too fixated for just a hot second because of the realism and stuff. And I'm like, I know what you're doing. I know where those eyes are. <laughs> I don't know. I personally don't care, but I find it pretty amusing. I haven't got this thing set up to make any medicine. That's fine. It must have got destroyed and remade. Every time one of these gets destroyed by my people, I need to find it and reallocate the bills and shit. Um, what's that? Aprilic that heart for? I think it's supposed to be heart. Either that or it's a three. It's legitimately a three. Let me know. A little confused. Um, so whilst most people can silently appreciate the cake, the internet is full of exception that can't keep it to themselves and completely agree. Streamer who I watch play it uh, is fairly open about the lewd jokes and some aspects of their personal life so they don't mind but I can immediately see why anyone else would not want that in their streams. In was it? It invites the worst kinds of viewers. Yeah, it does. The other thing too is like I've said this before, like I am a asexual um pan romantic, right? So I find all kinds of like people to be attractive, but I don't want to fuck anyone, right? And I don't want any like lewdness and shit mm. towards me. I also don't want any like weird lewdness towards like me and my community. Jackal mate, don't run towards it. Like, it's just, like, it makes it awkward. Like, um, I think maybe if I was younger or something and or single, I could play into, like, a flirtier role, perhaps. But because, like, I am in a relationship um, and I... Oh, where are you going, Jackal Mate? Okay, he's going in up there. Yeah, I'm in a relationship and I also just don't find that stuff to be, like, I don't know, something I'm interested in either. Run, Jackal, run. Um, so I don't want any of that sort of stuff around. Like, we sometimes get a little bit of confusion with, like, what is, like, considered as safe to work. But just imagine, like, uh, essentially, like, nothing intimate. Nothing like that. Like, there's, um, like, the occasional, like, slightly sus joke and stuff. Like, I might occasionally say something a bit, like, offhand and be like, what the fuck did she just say? But, like, generally speaking, like, I don't want anybody in the community to keep that going I don't want there to be like you know sus jokes or like horny bonks or, or anything like that like it's just not me not something I'm interested in it's also not something I'm interested in mitigating as well because like a lot of my early experience with streaming like I said my first stream I had literally somebody that was into ball torture in my stream this was the first person watching my stream was somebody that wanted me to be some kind of kinky dominatrix to them and talk about ball torture. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, this is my very first stream, right? So I definitely got initiated into Twitch in a very, very um, 
sus way. Like my very first stream was like, holy shit. Like it was questionable. Should I even try this again? Cause I also didn't know how to block people initially. So like I had to just deal with this weirdo for like a couple of hours while I streamed until the stream was over. And it was just like a constant barrage of like, I'm not interested, mate, please stop. And it's like not stopping. It's like, I would probably got to like end stream for that kind of behavior kind of thing. Cause I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even have it set to save that VOD. So like, <laughs> yeah, I had like the most bare minimum possible fucking understanding shit, you know? Um, what's it? Whilst, uh, I missed something there. I don't know. Uh, well, earlier you were talking about female VTubers saying that you kind of want to be similar to, what? Similar to so hamster boy shit having full avatar. I didn't realize I said, like, I want to have, like, full avatar and stuff. Like, eventually I would like to have, like, some kind of, like, step up from this. Like, I have said that before. Like, I wanted, when I made my PNG YouTube, because I started as a faceless stream, I wanted to have an avatar, right? So I got my PNG YouTuber, I made her, and then I wanted to make my Kitty Venus form, but I had to figure out how to make her. And once I figured out how to make her, like, now we have her. Um... But, like, as far as, like, anything else goes, like, I've still got to work out, like, logistics of, like, in the future if I want to add in, like, head padding or throwing a slice of cheese on my face or something like that. Like, I would probably need to, like, I don't know, step up from a PNG tuber and stuff. But, like, that's also a lot of work, too, because you got to understand, like, I'd be doing all that shit myself as well. Um... But yeah, no, the hamster voice stuff, no, I, I definitely wouldn't be, like, squeaky in that sense. I thought about adding it as a redeem, but, like, I just wouldn't enjoy it. Plus, I also strain my voice on the average week anyway. So, like, week to week, I, by Friday night, by the end of Friday's stream, I generally have, like, bugger all voice left. Um, and then I proceed to just not talk all weekend. That's generally how my week goes. I'm seeing like baby lambs and all sorts of stuff in here. Um, what else did I miss? Um, it's fine. Regularly used forbidden mod for Sims, so I can forgive them. Uh, even if I find it odd choice of game to add that sort of mod. Well, um, the world of sus is fucking repugnant. Yeah, look, I try not to invite like the more lewd community here um I think that's what I was trying to say and I forgot before was like like my very first stream was kind of horrible sus shit right but like I don't know there's um sometimes it's difficult because like sometimes a person's like really good but every so often they say something that's really deeply inappropriate and uncomfortable and stuff and that kind of sucks too because it's like what do you do? This person's like good most of the time and then they don't listen when like you ask them to stop or like certain games like the coffin of Annie Lele was one that was kind of bad. When I played that it was great on stream. It was great fun. It was one of those 18 plus not safe for work streams that I did that was not appropriate at all for discord and everybody understood right everybody was on the same page until it went to youtube and then everybody that found it on youtube came super fast into discord with the horny and with the images and like even before this i had a lot of problems as like a female streamer where people were sharing like dick pics and like animal harming and like obviously telling me to kill myself and all the all the usual shit that you get when you stream and shit right but um like i i was already getting a lot of like unsolicited materials and stuff and then the coffee and the and lele hit youtube and oh my god um discord was like mild anarchy for a little bit where i kind of had to like get everybody to understand that this was a what happens in stream stays in stream what happens in the video like the comments that happen in that video on youtube stay in the video <laughs> like they don't come to discord and stuff so that's where like my only concern of putting those videos on tiktok at the moment 
is like what happens if people come from those communities and are like excited about it and stuff and like the only good thing is nobody comes from TikTok to anywhere else in my community it seems so I'm like I feel like that's its own little place at the moment and I'm safe but um the videos on there are hugely popular so that's why I'm putting on on there give people a chance to like see it without having to go to YouTube or something dudes Malboro is right down right there and I need somebody that's not hauling an animal like barns. Mate, can you rescue them? What's your problem? Food poisoning. That is basically the song of my entire colony is food poisoning. If they don't have it at some point in time, like are you really an Asura colonist? <laughs> Seriously. Um, if you don't police this stuff from the get-go, become part of your culture and chat nature. Viewers end up being it's a mistake that many streamers make early on not curating their chat in a way that will make be comfortable well that's the other thing too is like i have a fuck ton of rules in chat and in discord and stuff like that but it's primarily so that i can interact with you guys and you guys can interact with me in a way that makes me comfortable you know so like for instance like the no lewd and like no like even like low level intimacy shit in discord like as in like no I don't know, no hugs and kisses and shit like that. Like, I appreciate that stuff not being there because, like, I don't know, I'm a socially awkward individual myself and I'm not really one for, like, uh, public displays of affection. I'm not really one for, um, I don't know, any kind of, like, I don't know. I don't like hugs <laughs> that much. Um, but, like, still, there's a, there's a time and a place for it and stuff like that. And I... I personally don't want to bond over my community over like sus stuff because like oh caravan arrived lump nice because in the beginning I had a lot of people asking me to add a uh 18 plus area to discord and I'm like why I don't want to see your porn I don't want to see your dick pics um <laughs> and then on top of that um they're like oh you know just to share like lewd art of your character and I'm like why would I want that? I don't even want the rest of it, you know? Um, if somebody wants to draw my character as fan art, that's great. But it's, if it's sus, I don't want to fucking see it, you know? And, of course, like, yeah, I had a few people try to do the old reach around in that sense where they'd be like, oh, instead of sending in Discord, let me send it to you directly. And I'm like, that's not how this works. So, yeah, I've had to definitely, like, I don't know, grow a fair bit like I'm not somebody that likes confrontation but like if you fucking put me in a confrontational path I will fucking stand up and take it basically like I'll, I'll take down the conversation like that's essentially how it goes um as a streamer it's my way or not at all you know um obviously like that always doesn't gel with everyone I see that there's a few fucking animals on here too there's a lot of does and ra uh, fucking animals everywhere. I'm thinking if somebody's in the area and they could hunt them, that would be great. Because we'll take the meat back. So what I want to do is, before I forget, let's get this set up to mine this. Because it's going to set them nuts. The slate? Yeah, slate. Alright, and we'll get the berries and not cut. I want that cut. And where is the heel root stuff? There we go. Alright, my people should be good here. They should get in and do the mining. I don't see any threat hitting them up, so we should be okay. I'll put down some beds and shit, you know. Let's go see you next time. Nice day. No worries, Snap. I'll uh, catch you around. And um, see what else. I forgot you played that. I saw that in your playlist and I was wondering how you managed to moderate that. Oh yeah, the Coffin of Any Lele was like, literally, it was exclusively a in-stream special event that I did and everything about it like everybody was allowed a little bit of wiggle room on being a bit sus and a bit like jovial about everything it was great we had a super great time it was so fun um the only the only downside to it is like obviously i did have a few mega fans of the game in the chat because it was only newly released right so it was just people that wanted to see it and different takes of it different people's opinions and variations of it and stuff right 
and uh like there was a few people that was like come in and be a little bit too descriptive like happen to mention how it gets them hot and bothered and what they're doing about it and it's like mate like the good thing was i had a few regulars around at the time that were also willing to like stand up and be like how is that appropriate for a conversation like we don't know you like why would you say that sort of thing and that was nice like obviously i don't need my community to kind of like be my army and stuff like that and protect me and shit i'm here to protect you guys in reverse sort of thing but like it was nice to have like you know a bit of an echo chamber of everybody voicing the same thing that they didn't want to hear the shit as much as i didn't want to hear the shit so it was nice having a few like-minded people that didn't want it didn't enjoy it kind of thing but were enjoying the game and the humor of the game i also played another game to death plate that ended up being a little bit more psychotic than raunchy so also the coffin of Vendian lele was my very first most explosive videos on youtube apparently on twitch i was told by one of my community members that apparently i had the most people that ever seen in my chat watching me that night which did not soothe me at all like i had a whole weekend to like deal with that information i'm like i didn't need to know but on youtube it went nuts within like 48 hours it was up to like over a thousand views on each of the videos on most of the videos and i'm like what the fuck like this is when i had like a couple of hundred people following me like we had less than a thousand easily probably less than 500 following me on youtube and it went nuts so basically the amount of people that saw me and watched those videos uh were all new to my channel that had probably never watched anything of mine before so that was really cool obviously they weren't that interested in anything else i was doing because they were there for the specific video and that's fine like i get that like i sometimes see a creator and maybe they have like two or three different shows in a series that i like and the rest of it's not really for me so like i do get that but um yeah for some reason on fucking tiktok it's got like one of my videos on there has got like a hundred something thousand views and i'm like what the fuck is this like i get it it's it's the funniest fucking clip i've ever done but um yeah let me start as social but but yeah i don't know i look at that and i'm like if i had known how to make tiktok monetize i probably could have put all of my coffin of andy and lele on there and i probably could have been monetized on tiktok before any other platform just because of that just because of like the fan base on that and how tiktok works and stuff but um it was kind of like an afterthought realistically um also blurs the lines between parasocial and reality it's hard to keep them separate if you allow it even the that even just from a success perspective i don't know many streamers that actively encourage it that make it far without getting into some kind of scandal over it anyway look i like talking to my community like i understand that there is like a parasocial issue that people have with like the streamer and they go oh well like i know all this stuff about the streamer because i'm in every other stream but they don't know jack shit about me and yes, those people are legitimately parasocial, but I actually try to talk to my community and I actually do remember shit about them. And I do have conversations and it's multi-day conversations, multi-month conversations, some are even multi-year conversations. And I've grown to know them almost as much as they know me. And I don't consider that parasocial, I consider that social. Um, I understand as that scales up, like even under 300 followers on Twitch and under 700 followers on YouTube, I had multiple emails or multiple contacts and stuff like that telling me how to kill myself. I had multiple people sending me uh, seriously harmed animals, um, images. I had a lot of lewd unsolicited images um i had two individual psychos try to befriend me um and just kind of mentally fuck with me um this is all in like my first six months of streaming <laughs> and it's not uncommon because unfortunately in my real life i have some of that shit too 
Um, so I know it's more so about me and what I attract in people than um, the people themselves coming to find me. Obviously, they happen to find me and feel like they can do this shit. But the other thing, too, is the more I kind of grow with streaming, the less tolerant I am of it and the more aware and suspicious I am of it. So I can at least, like, identify it a little bit faster now. Um, the other thing is, too, like, I'm also one of those people that... You good, Phoenix? Phoenix is sneezing. I'm also one of those people that also um, get introspective and like look into like think about like how is this happening why is it happening why does it keep happening like i don't sit there and think oh woe is me like these people keep finding me no i have to be either exhibiting something or giving off something or like i don't know engaging in some kind of manner that um confuses people into being like psychos at me you know um or it, like, feels like I'm a specific target or something like that. Um, but, yeah, I already know from real life before streaming, I already have, like, stalkers and and horrible stuff in there. So I kind of knew going into streaming, this is why I try to protect myself, my identity, and, like, no faces, no names, no locations, no nothing stuff, because I know that the internet can be worse and... All that it takes is attracting one really, really bad hostile psycho, and then I've got a problem, you know. Um, but so far, luckily so far, all of them have been manageable, at least. So, I mean, that's like a sigh, but, like, legitimately, it's it's not much of an improvement kind of thing. I um, personally enjoy a lot of it since I'm hungry for social interaction, but I also recognise that's where it's allowed the privilege not a right it's a streamer's personal choice yeah but the other thing too is like i don't take any conversations into private areas i have a public discord people can talk to me in chat in stream they can talk to me on like leave comments on my youtube videos they can have a conversation or share like stuff that they cook or like their 